I'm here to show you how to make the best, cheesiest chicken cream enchiladas. Now, for this recipe, I'm going to go ahead and hit you with the ingredients. I got them all here. So you're going to need one pound of chicken. Uh, I actually made a video of how to air fry chicken, and it works really good with chicken thighs. I also made a video how to uh, bone them. You only really need about three to four chicken thighs depending on how big they are. So a pound of chicken cut up and uh, cook it before you start this. I've also used rotisserie chicken in the past. You can do that if you have leftovers that you want to get rid of. You can turn them into enchiladas. Uh, you just need a pound of that. You can shred it or cut it up however you want. So you also need some tortillas. I got the big burrito size because I make some other things with that, but I trim them on the bottom and on the top. So you can do that as well. The medium size ones work. Uh, you also need a 13 by 19 pan and you'll want to put a little bit of olive oil in and smear that around in the pan before you put the tortillas in. So you'll also need a cup of cheddar and a cup of mozzarella. Now depending on your taste and your spiciness level, uh, you can actually substitute the mozzarella with uh, a cup of Monterey Jack or Pepper Jack. Either works fine. And what I do is I actually mix these two and I use a half cup of each in the beginning of the process and a half cup of each in the end process and I'll show you all of that. So you're also going to need some chicken broth 16 ounces. Um, I already put the pepper on the chicken so you'll need about a quarter teaspoon of pepper. You can actually add more if you like pepper. I don't add salt for this one because I cook a little bit of the uh, chicken with salt and then I also have the chicken uh, broth that has salt in it so I don't overload it with salt and you don't need any extra spices you're gonna need three tablespoons of butter and three tablespoons of flour a half cup of sour cream so you can actually use a full cup of sour cream if you don't have four ounces of cream cheese so I do half and half it to me it seems like it turns out really well now for the vegetables so there's two parts to this recipe the beginning and the end and over time I've added stuff uh, so I got a half of a green pepper which is about less than a half a cup. I also got two large mushrooms, which is also less than a half a cup. I have jalapenos, uh, just a couple, uh, just one diced jalapeno. Um, this is for the top part, and, the, and I got four ounces of green chilies. You can get them spicy or mild, depending on your taste. Um, that's also for the second part of it and I also got some onions because sometimes I feel like it's missing some oven onions you can use some uh, chives if you want but I always use onions so I think that is all of our ingredients and we're gonna start mixing this stuff And since we're making enchiladas, we're going to have some hot sauce. I, I feel Olga is staring at me. So there's a story behind that. And man, I tell you, that's some good stuff. But you got to be very, very careful with it. But let's get started. You're on your way to making the best uh, chicken, creamy, cheesy enchiladas that you've ever made in your entire life. You're going to want to start preheating that oven if you got everything uh, together. 
usually I cook it about 350 to 385. So we're going to start this one off about 350. And the other thing is, is that it's about 20 to 25 minutes, depending on your oven. So I've made these actually at other people's places. It's taken a little longer. My oven must be a little hotter or quicker. So we're going to try it. You can also uh, use the broiler on the last couple of minutes if you want to just melt the cheese because the chicken and everything else will already be cooked. So let's get started and mix everything. So we're going to start off uh, with sauteing some of these vegetables. Not all of them because uh, some of them are going to be uh, used on top. And I just wanted to show you, not sure if you can see it, but basically I cleaned the bottom of this pan. I've had this pan for probably like 15 years and I did, I did make a video on how to clean your pans. It actually worked out pretty good. Turned it just like new. So it's pretty good. But uh, we're going to go ahead and start off with this and I'll show you what to saute. Okay, so our grease is heated up. We're gonna go ahead and put in our vegetables. That's the mushrooms, the spinach, the green pepper, and the onions. So we're gonna cook these for about four to five minutes until uh, everything is still slightly crunchy but also uh, kind of soft and, and pliable. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cook these for the five minutes. And then we'll uh, come back and we'll make the, uh, the chicken mixture. So it's been cooking for about three minutes. I just wanted to show you the spinach is going to cook way down. So, I mean, if you love spinach, you can add a little more. It's not going to hurt. Uh, and everything else is just cooking great. So, and with these vegetables, you know, probably the primary thing is like the green pepper, the spinach, and the onions. If you don't like mushrooms, you don't have to add those. Um, I do like mushrooms, so it works out pretty well. And it actually gives it really good flavor when you saute it. You can taste everything. It's so amazing. So we're about done with the vegetables and we're going to go ahead and make our chicken mix. So we're going to go ahead and dump our vegetables in here. And this is going to be the mixture for the enchilada. So go ahead and dump your vegetables after you have sauteed them in with the chicken. And next we're going to put in the cheese. So I put in the cheese and the vegetables. We're going to go ahead and mix this around. Remember the chicken's already cooked. This is going to be what goes for the filling in the enchiladas. Now, I just want to notate, you can add spices in here if you want. You can add salt right here at this point. You can add some pepper. I added a little bit of pepper. If you wanted, you could actually even add jalapeno uh, pepper powder or ghost pepper powder. If uh, your family likes spicy but uh, we're just gonna keep this one not so spicy so we got everything mixed around and now we're gonna go ahead and make our enchiladas next so you'll want to go ahead and preheat that oven and once you get that preheated like I said, 350, you'll just need to cook these at, uh, for 25 minutes. This next part goes pretty quick. And so 
probably the longest thing that we're going to do is actually uh, stuff the enchiladas or stuff the mix into the tortillas to make the enchiladas and roll them up. And I'm making these a little bigger, so we're going to squeeze all of these in the pan as many as we can. So uh, let's go ahead and get that process started, and I'll show you on the last one how to roll it. Okay, so for this last one, uh, we're going to go ahead and roll it, and I'll just show you what I do. So I just roll it, and that's it. So we're done. I was only able to fit nine in this pan, so uh, we do have a leftover tortilla, which is fine. Sometimes that happens. So we got our pan heated. First thing we're going to do is dump our butter in there and let it melt just a little bit. We don't want it to burn. We just want it to get hot enough. Okay, this has been cooking for about a minute. Butter is finally uh, completely melted and you see it sizzling. We're going to want to dump in our flour. This is going to thicken pretty quick. You don't want to do this for more than a minute. So. If I was you, I would probably have a low to medium heat, but we just want to cook this, make sure all the flour is smoothed. Look at that, so beautiful. And we'll come back in 30 seconds. Okay, the next ingredient is going to be the chicken broth. We're going to dump that in there. Now what we want to do is make this nice and smooth. We don't want to cook this for very long either, maybe about another minute. And we want to just get it hot enough so that way it melts our cream cheese and our sour cream. Now, if you don't have cream cheese, you can use uh, just double the sour cream. So you can use a full cup of sour cream. It'll work out just fine. So we're going to go ahead and let that heat up. Just want to heat it up just enough so that way it looks like it's creamy and smooth and you just want to keep mixing it so it'll thicken don't worry and we're almost ready once it starts uh, bubbling a little bit more we're gonna go ahead and add our sour cream and our cream cheese. Okay, we're ready. I'm gonna add the cream cheese. And we're gonna add the sour cream. I'm going to turn it down a little bit. Oh, smells so amazing. So we just want a nice thick sauce. And we're going to just dump this sauce over the enchiladas. So, and the last and final thing that's going to go in here is our green chilies. So, we're just going to mix all of that together. And then we'll come back once it's uh, finished. Man, that smells so good. Okay, the stove is ready. And we're going to go ahead and dump the sauce on there. 
Now remember 350 20 to 25 minutes. We're going to put a mozzarella on these. And then I like to add the cheddar over it. And the final and last thing that we want to do is just put some uh, jalapenos on this. Okay. Get these two stragglers off. So, and like I said, you may have some guests that don't like jalapenos. That way I put them on top so they're not in the meal and they can eat it. They can pick it off if they want. So let's come back in about 25, 20, 25 minutes and see what she looks like. All right, as you can see here, 20 minutes is perfect. We got the cheese bubbling. The sauce bubbling. We're gonna go ahead and let this cool and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, put one on a plate and take a bite. It smells so amazing. So just stick with me and we'll get the final uh, bite going. I have many good recipes. It, this pretty much was under $20 to make all of this. And if you have leftover chicken and leftover vegetables that you can cut up for this, it's even cheaper meal. You just need to buy the sour cream and the tortillas uh, and the cream cheese. So it's you also, if you want to feed the family and make it last a little longer, serve it with uh, some rice and beans. And you can actually cut these in half and serve them that way too as well if you got a lot of people over serve it with rice and beans cut them in half and that way everybody gets some um, but I'm telling you this pan won't last an hour if you have a bunch of people over they'll eat it right up so we're gonna let it cool and then come back with a plate all right I'm not sure she's cooled down all the way. Oh, man. So we're going to go ahead and get a bite. Oh, I love how crunchy these are. Mm. That is so good. Oh, so good. If you make these, your family will love you. They'll treat you like royalty. It is so good. Oh my. So flavorful. If you go to a restaurant, you're just wasting your money. Make this instead. It is a little work, but it's pretty quick and pretty easy, and you can use leftovers, and you know exactly what's going into it. I've had enchiladas at a restaurant with hardly any meat, hardly any cheese, very salty, and not even spicy. So with this, you can do it how you want. If this helped you out, like and subscribe. I'll go ahead and post those other videos that I uh, told you about with the chicken. And uh, other than that, thank you very much and enjoy. Please put in the comments 
if you have tried this and how you like it. Thank you.